In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to build an entire offensive scheme completely from scratch in Madden 23. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the counter play. Now you might be asking yourself, Cody, what is a counter play? We're gonna explain it in just a second. Now, if you wanted to take your Madden game to the next level, make sure that you join my Patreon. That's where you're gonna get access to all of my complete offensive and defensive ebooks, including different coverage adjustments, different route combos, different money plays, collected together into an actual scheme that is gonna enable you to have significant success online. We have over 22 offensive and defensive ebooks available on the Patreon, and your membership will get, get you access to all of that stuff. So 10 bucks literally gets you access to everything. Now, I was doing a kind of a little mini series here out of the tight Y off formation, and we're talking about how you can go about creating this scheme from this. So uh, what we're going to be doing here is tight Y off. This is in the Bengals offensive playbook. And yesterday we talked a little bit about a power play. Now, in order to talk about a counter play, you have to know what your power play is. And we talked yesterday about how the play PA slot cross is one of the best power plays in Madden this year. It's one of the best power plays because of the fact of how powerful that wheel route is to the right side. Now, we also talked in our um, kind of tutorial here about setting up audibles is it doesn't really make sure it makes sense to have PA go slot cross as an audible. So what we want to do is go ahead and put switch wide receiver drag as an audible. Now, what we're also going to be doing uh, with this formation is we need something to counter uh, this play. So when we come on the field, if you look at this, what does PA slot cross actually attack? Well, PA slot cross, if you think about it, attacks really the right side of the field. It attacks pretty much every area um, of the right side of the field, okay? So we've got to have something, if you think about it, in our counter play that is going to attack the left side of the field. Now, that could be a couple different things, right? We could go to the play wheel spot. We could go to the play flood drive. Um, as you see here, it has a really nice post route to the left side of the screen. We could go to the play switch wide receiver drag that has this nice sharp corner route. Those are kind of up to you, to be honest. But for my money, I think one of the best counter plays um, in Madden is the play flood drive. And we're going to turn this into kind of a shallow cross style of concept. So what we're going to do with this, this is an incredible man beating play. You're going to be really, really well equipped to attack man to man coverage. And then you're also going to be equipped to attack zone. So what we're going to do here is we are going to take our tight end and we're going to put him on a drag. Remember on our power play, he was on an out route. Then we're going to take George Pickens, our outside receiver here, and we're going to put him on a streak. Remember in our power play, he was on a smart routed in route. Calvin Johnson's route, we can kind of keep as is. Um, that route's gonna be perfect for what we need it to do. And then CD Lamb's route is really good as well. Remember in our power play, he was on an out-breaking wheel route. Now he's gonna be on an in-breaking post route. So you see how these routes are complementing what we did in our power play. Now with our running back, we can check release him. We can wheel route him. We have a lot of ability. We just want him to attack the flat to the right side if we're gonna put him on a route at all otherwise just put him on a block and release or just simply block him in general right so what you're going to see here how are we going to read this what i like to do here is we're going to look to calvin johnson first if the defender that is guarding calvin johnson continues to run upfield then we're going to check the ball down to our tight end on this drag this tight end drag is really 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 good for a couple of different reasons one of the reasons that this tight end drag is really good is because of the stance that the tight end is actually in. It's going to enable him to run these drag routes with super quick consistency and quick cuts, as you can see right there. Now, the other read we have is this route to Calvin Johnson. This is an incredible man-beating play. It does beat zone as well, but we know that the meta right now is man coverage. I would say that our, our power play is okay against man coverage. It's got some big play potential against man coverage for sure in the cd lamb route but it's not necessarily like an every down call if they're going to consistently be playing man it's really a really great play for zone and match coverage so when we go to the play like flood drive now this play is really well equipped for the man meta for a lot of different reasons now george pickens has the short out elite ability the short out elite ability enables receivers to basically nuke press man-to-man -man coverage without safety help over the top Therefore, if they don't have safety help over the top, or if you have enough time in the pocket where you can actually freeform this, this uh, streak, 
then what you're going to notice is this is going to crucify uh, press man. You see there they get that natural pick, natural rub. We're going to free form it away from the safety. And as you can see, this can absolutely destroy uh, press man-to-man -man coverage. Now, another route on the field that is really good, especially if you have some time. Now, we have some quick reads, right? We have our running back quick to the flat, which I think is super good. I really like putting the running back on a wheel route. Uh, I think the wheel route is a really good read. Why? Because if they're in man coverage, we can snap throw that out there. Obviously, there I got a little bit of a man switch action. But if you're not getting man switches, you know, depending on what they're doing defensively, this is going to kind of determine some of this stuff. But if your running back is going to be left open to the flat, then we can take that running back quick throw. And then the other thing that we have is that tight end route quick to the flat and the in route over here. Now, the other route that we haven't really talked or touched on is this route to CD Lane. This route is super effective um, against man-to-man. -man. Now, what you can do with the CD Lamb route is if you smart route this route, it's going to make it run a little shorter, as you can see right there, and his short in elite is going to take over really, really well. So what you see there, he lights up. He's going to get incredible separation over the face of the safety, and as you can see, it just absolutely destroys man-to-man. -man. Now, you might be saying, okay, well, this is all well and good against man coverage, but how do I beat zone coverage with this play? Well, I'm glad you asked. Again, our first read on the field, the thing that we've got to be looking at, we're going to peak that streak, and then we're going to look at that in route. If the defender goes to guard the in route, we're going to take Taysom Hill cross. So you see here, just a standard cover three. They go to the in route or they rise off the ground. We can take our little shallow cross and we can dump it down for five, 10 yards every single time. That's going to force them to have to play hard flats. Then what we're going to be able to do with this play is you're going to notice that we are now able to take advantage of our dig. But more importantly, we have this post route that is absolutely going to destroy any zone in the game. That route cannot be defended by zone drops and that route cannot be defended by cover three. This is also why I like to suggest to go ahead and run this with your tight end side to the wide side. The reason that you wanna run this with your tight end side to the wide side is because against a cover four drop defense, this streak is gonna then influence everybody and you're just gonna freeform that down and away from the safety. And as you can see, we could put that in a position where only our receiver can catch the football. So we're able to beat a lot of different coverages, including zone coverage. Now, I believe that your counterplay has to be effective against man, it has to be effective against zone, and it also has to be effective against match coverage. So how does this fare against match coverage? Well, your tight end drag is, again, one of the best routes on the field. You need to be taking your tight end drag if it is open. If your tight end, is dra your tight end drag is open, you have to take that read. You absolutely have to take that read. Now, the other thing that you want to look for, especially against match coverage, is the either the wheel to the running back. I mean, you've got all kinds of stuff against match coverage here. But if you look at this uh, post, again, freeform that down and outside, and he can a lot of times really cook the match coverage on that side. So, um, and then one last thing against match coverage, if they're gonna press you in match, what you're getting in this formation, especially on the left side of the screen, if it is match coverage, a lot of times what's going to mean, that's going to mean, is it's going to mean that they're going to be basically in man-to-man. -man. And as you see right there, he gets that beat off the line of scrimmage and he could potentially be a one-play score over the top if they're consistently pressing their match coverage. All in all, flood drive is one of the best plays in the game, and I believe tight Y off is one of the best offenses in the game. If you want to take your Madden game to the next level, make sure that you join my Patreon. For just $10, you're going to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those schemes. So make sure to join the Patreon. The link is on your screen, and you can also join by clicking the link in the description.